Hi guys, uh, I'm, uh, <laughs> I'm just going to show show you show you guys the um, DRO that I've got attached to my Frontier OS27. Uh, if you if you haven't recognised me, I'm I have a, a YouTube channel on on YouTube called Everyday with Me Nick, and uh, yeah, I've had a few things on there about the OS27. You know my uh, relationship with it. Uh, it's it's fine. It's fine. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to show you guys the uh, DRO setup that I've got. Um, by installing that on my mill, I completely changed the way that I milled. It was I, I got rid of the scale that come with it. It was terrible. I didn't like it at all. And um, now, bang, 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 uh, it's increased whatever I'm doing tenfold. So... I'll spin you around and show you what I've got. Obviously, there's the uh, the OS 27 there that I've got. Um, it's, uh, it's obviously 13 and a half Briggs and Staten engine in it. But um, there you can see what I've done with my uh, DRO. I know the light's not all that fantastic in here. Um, so I'll see if I can... Oh, I've got a bit of light. What I've done, uh, I've got a, I've got a piece, of, piece of wood... I attached it up the top there and down on the bottom there so that could have actually been cut off flush with the bottom I oh, no it couldn't because it needed the length sorry so this is a 600 mil DRO so yeah I've got it attached the DRO scale is attached at the bottom and at the top there and then all I did was um, drilled a hole in this in this body and tapped it uh, and that's what the head rides up on up and down on and it works fantastic. Uh, never have any issues with the vibration. Uh, it's quite a good DRO to be honest. I have got, I did buy another one and it was quite bad really. So um, I'll leave a link in the description for the UK website for, for this one. But yeah, there's the, um, there's my setup really easy. And it works a charm. Uh, it does, it does, it does impede your, uh, recoil pull but I've learnt to live with it and get away with it and uh, now she's um, yeah I can, I can do that no problem and then I just have the scale on the side there let's see, I'll see that, zero that out so so say I'm say that's where my cut what my last cut was there I just zero it and um, what do we do? We'll say we want some uh, some inch boards, so that would be 20, uh, 25 mil in uh, in out in my money. Uh, so I'd go I'd go down to twenty five, right? So about there. I've just gone a little bit over. I was bang on almost there, but then I'd go uh, to twenty seven or very near there, somewhere about there. And what that, that's given is the curve of the blade then. So when I mill that out now, if I milled right across the bed, which I've got a bit of junk piled up on at the moment, but if I, if I mill across there, that would give me a 25 mil board every time. If Well, you know, if I roughly go 27 or just partially under. So I hope that has, uh, that has helped uh, to people who are wanting to fit a, a DRO scale. Um, on, on their mill, I would highly recommend it. I don't know why there isn't an option for uh, Frontier to add it. There is an option on the Norwood brand, but I tell you what, it's very expensive. Oh, whilst I'm here, I want to also show you guys what I've done with my um, my water feed. Uh, so that's the standard uh, tap that comes with it. Absolutely terrible. Um, no, no control on it whatsoever. So what I did was... I, uh, I I tapped into it half well so far down, and what these are these little uh, uh, two you know male male uh, um, taps kind of things. Uh, these are for irrigation systems for plants, and um, I think it's the six mil one or the eight mil. I can't re I can't quite remember now, and. Um, yeah, they, they they work fantastic. They've got a really, really, really nice range, and they're, they're quite easy as well. See if I can get it coming down. 
There you go, it's coming out now, look. Where I'll just, uh, you can get it so it just drips away nicely. So that's, that's nice. So that's what them are. And I, I'll tell you what, I found them to be absolutely fantastic. Uh, not had to replace one yet and I bought six because it come in a pack of six. Uh, you, have, you have got to remember to turn it off of course. Um, so obviously that arrow there is showing closed and then if it was up straight, up straight down, that would be open and, you know, same move way. But yeah, I just, I've kept it, kept with that one because obviously it was there. And that was that. Uh, just another little thing that I did with mine is I mounted a hook onto it, put a bucket on it. Um, I think that's a 35 litre or 40 litre bucket and uh, just catches the sawdust a lot more a lot more efficient i've got a lot of tidying up to do it's absolutely a disgrace uh so yeah wanted to show uh you fellow frontier owners just what what you can do um with these mills and um stay tuned for well i will i will put an update of what i do but i'm thinking of uh, making a power head for this and a power feed because uh, my mate my mate uh, jerry from uh, Bigelow Woodcraft on YouTube, he did a power feed on his, and I'm just in awe of his. Um, so this will happen at some point. Uh, just a quick look for everyone at the shed that I've made. Sorry, excuse the the wood on the floor and everything. It's splitting its season, <laughs> but yeah, there's the shed that I made. There's only two pieces of wood. That's that beam there and the beam behind it. They're out to buy from the store. Everything else has been milled um, from from my own stock, and uh, I'm going with board and batten style on the on the sides, and uh, I'm going to have two sliding doors, so there'll be like two 2.6 meter, 2.7 meter doors here. So one will open that way, one will open that way, and the same on the back side to allow for access on the log deck. So yeah. Thanks very much guys and um, if you want to if you want to see what I've got on my channel I'll leave a link for that as well and then you can if you do you do if you don't you don't thanks very much have a good day everybody